It's the night. Everyone's doing the live. You call in. I say, Chris, where are you at? I think it's over. Rasmussen, Mitchell calls in. I think it's over, right? The moment that you knew it was over, there's a clip of you, right? And if you want to play this clip, Rob, on what happened here. I see this clip. I loved it because it's so organic, and you don't want to do it, but it's just happening, and your and your team caught it. Rob, can you play this clip of uh, Charlie reacting to the results? Fox News decides Donald Trump is president of the United States. We've got our republic back, folks. <laughs> Let's go. There it is. Everybody should remember this moment. Look, I'm going to I'm going to echo Charlie from earlier. Remember where you were when this happened. Remember where you were when you realized that the Uniparty and all of these, you know, just the establishment, you said it's time to actually participate and look what you guys have done. <laughs> and if anyone deserves to get tears in his eyes, it's Charlie. I think we all agree. I no think one, Erica was no one has worked harder than something in the, the, uh, the break room. No maybe. one has worked harder than Charlie, Charlie for we this. Gotta, we got we to gotta no hear one. some words here from you, Charlie. You I, put all this together, just, my man. Let's just, hear it. I, I am just humbled by God. It's all God. It's all God. God alone. God alone. You can pause it, Rob. Charlie, what's going through your mind? Yeah, well, um, from, uh, from January 2021 to that moment, uh, we, we we dedicated our entire life to get Donald Trump back to the White House. I want to people to remember the context of that. That was after January 6th. Donald Trump was basically in political exile. And we we dug out of what would be the greatest political hole in modern American history. And especially this last year and a half, everything was just coming through me from not just how hard the president worked, but how hard we worked. I mean, we traveled the country nonstop, didn't see my family, did events in every corner, president was facing 700 years in federal prison. They tried to take his business empire away from him. And then, of course, he got shot and nearly shot again at the golf course. And there was this kind of feeling as like, are, are, is this possible? Are we going to do this? And, you know, going into election night, we're almost built in with kind of this paranoia that th there's, there's no way this is actually going to materialize. And I, I believe it was a God thing. I believe that it's God shining his grace on this great country. And it's just just overwhelmed in that moment. Still, It still really hasn't set in, to be honest. Uh, Charlie, to, to the average person that's watching this, we know some of the